having a nice, calm, inviting classroom climate can go a long way with behavior management and academic success. In today's teaching tip video, I'm going to talk about something that I do to make that happen using music. We're starting right now. No, I don't mean teaching music. I mean playing music in the background while the students work. If I think about it, every time I do any type of work at all, I'm listening to music in my ear, in my headphones, or I've got music blasting in the house. So when I have music playing in the background while students are working, I have music playing in the background as soon as they walk in in the morning. I've got some music playing, calm music in the morning. You can have different types of music for different types of moods and atmospheres. When we're working and we're doing our work time during small group instruction, I like to have something a little bit more upbeat beat, a little bit more, something you can bop your head to a little bit, and my students have responded really well. One of my favorite things is looking out at my students working while they're working, kind of bopping their head or tapping their pencil to the beat of the music. That's a fun thing to see while you're teaching. When students are walking in the classroom in the morning, a lot of times I'll switch it up. For anything, it can be anything from Bob Marley to Mozart. I like to have something that gives off a good vibe first thing in the morning, and it plays throughout the morning. I'll pause the music if I had to make an announcement, but most of the day I have some music going on. I find that playing music keeps their volume level low as well, because if you play the same music enough, they'll start to learn the words, and they'll want to kind of hum and sing along to it, so they'll want to hear as well. Another thing you can do is you can make mention of it and say, all right, remember, I play the music in the background to keep our classroom calm and quiet. So as a rule of thumb, if you can't hear the music, you're probably too loud. You can sort of use that to control their volume also. I'm on Spotify. I'm going to be putting together some playlists, and if you want to follow me on Spotify now, you can, but I'll make, a, I'll make another announcement when more of my playlists are ready, but you can just search Kyle Thane on Spotify and you can follow me and I'll have some I'll have some appropriate, some school appropriate playlists for you to follow if you think that would be a good idea for your classroom. If this video helped you at all, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. I do a teaching tip video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, make it a great day, teachers, and see you next time.